So as well as analyzing data with NumPy, SciPy, and Pandas, you're also going to want to plot your data. And we're going to use two packages to do this, the first of which is matplotlib. So in this first exercise, we've been asked to add some imports into this cell. Now, I'll just quickly add them, and then I'll go through what we're doing. So this line is a special Jupyter command. It's called a magic command. And the word inline here tells any import of matplotlib just to display the figure inline even when you choose to save it. It's just important to add this to your notebooks in the future. We've then imported the PyPlot submodule from matplotlib as PLT. The PyPlot submodule has all the functions we actually need for plotting, and PLT is a very common alias. Then we've imported pandas as PD, like as before. And finally, we're going to read the same data set as before and display the first five rows. So you can see this is the same data as before. If we go through to our favorite search engine, we can find the matplotlib documentation. And for me, it's this top link. And just with NumPy and SciPy, there's lots of pages. There's a glossary at the bottom and an index. I'm just going to use the quick search. And I'm going to search for plot, given that we're going to do some plotting. You can see in the search examples, we've got the PyPlot submodule, which is actually the module we loaded. And down here, we've got matplotlib.pyplot.plot, which is a function. So let's have a look at that. Just with other documentation, we've got a function name. We've got parameters. And if you scroll down past this introductory text, you can see more about each of the parameters, including the other optional parameters that you don't need to use. Lots of matplotlib functions have keyword arguments, and they'll be in a big long list like this. You can also see that the return object is technically a thing called lines, but we're not going to use this. In this text at the top, there's usually examples of how to use it. But if we scroll right to the bottom of the page, you should be able to see there's a lot of uh, a gallery of examples where we can see, for example, how to add markers, how to use subplots, um, how to add annotation, how to use a scatter plot, and you can follow any of these to find out what you want to do.